Thank you, Mr. Perkins and Vic. At this moment, I ask everyone to rise and join us in the performance of our national anthem, Into a Pledge. Thank you friends, family, and staff for joining us today in the graduation of the class of 2021. Um, please join us in the school pledge. <laughs>
with everyone who is graduating today is that each person, no matter their race, gender, mental health, or any other correct circumstance, is much stronger than when they started high school. The graduates I represent, the class that stands before me, are so unique. We all have survived a very critical year of being cooped up with our families, alienated from each other and the activities that we love. Because of how much we have had to grow, I am confident that success lies in every one of our futures ahead. Whether the next path is in the armed forces, heading straight to work, or going to college, I know that each one of us will find success. To our teachers, who showed us the potential we could achieve, we offer a thank you. Although it may have been a struggle, each one of you has made our high school experience as memorable as it will be in the years to come. To anyone who has given us support along the way, you are the reason we have persevered through. Every shared tear, every single moment where you pushed us past our limits, every time you helped us to finish that paper, every time we were able to put a stroke on the canvas, it was because we knew we had people like you supporting us. We may have been slowed down by things like COVID-19, but as a community, we have never fallen apart. Once a lumberjack, always a lumberjack. Now, without further ado, let's get on to this graduation ahead of us, shall we? school in person. I just wanted to finish my classes and move on with my life. 
I had a pretty set routine. I would wake up at 7.58, roll out of bed, and walk downstairs for a class that started at 8. I'd have a cup of coffee, or four, and to be completely honest, I'd only half pay attention in class. I would have some type of quality entertainment in the background, like Spongebob or iCarly, and I'm sorry, Mr. Clark, but I probably learned more about making a Krabby Patty than what led to the start of World War II. Which is also ironic because I do plan on becoming a high school history teacher. <laughs> I was content with this routine, but after a little persuasion from some of my teachers, Senora Creek, I decided to come back to school in person for the last two months of my high school career. After I came back, I quickly remembered everything that I had been missing. The teachers, actual human interaction, my friends, and just Wausau East in general. Even though I now have to wake up a little bit earlier, and I actually have to put pants on, I'm glad that I came back to finish out my high school career on a high note. Now, because we've spent three of our four years with Dr. Peck, I feel that it's only fitting that someone gives a bucket speech. Respect. We were all able to respect each other's unique situations and help push each other to success. Integrity. This one I think is a little iffy uh, because I'm sure a lot of us have used the Google machine or the internet.com as a resource for tests, uh, but I believe that we still have our integrity because we are all responsible for our own work which has allowed us all to sit here today. Compassion. Every person has been impacted differently by COVID-19, but no one has been judged or criticized regarding their decisions. Excellence. Through respect, integrity, and compassion, we have all achieved excellence. We are sitting here today because of excellence. Since day one of freshman year, the core values have been taught to us and displayed in pretty much every hallway and classroom. Wasi East has taught us all incredibly important things, like the quadratic formula. Quick question. How many of you actually remember the quadratic formula? I don't really because I dropped calculus this year. Sorry, Mr. Egg. Anyway, and Mrs. Landretti also taught us all, all how to annotate a poem, and not to flex, but Mrs. Landretti did say I would become a great poetry scholar one day. But I believe that the most important things that we have learned here are respect, integrity, compassion, and excellence, because those are the values that will carry us the furthest in life. I think it is crucial that we thank the teachers and administration for helping us through this school year, but we also need to thank ourselves. Even with all of the help we have received, we are ultimately the reason why we are sitting here. The final message that I would like to leave you with comes from a true role model of our generation, Dory from Finding Nemo. When life gets tough, just keep swimming. Thank you for your time, and I wish you all the very best of luck. Yet transferring to the east side and 
being offered the opportunities that my peers, my administration, my teachers open for me helped me become the person I am today. The person attending the University of Wisconsin Madison in the fall, studying political science, and hopes to where they have my own kind of dream speech. I think a lot of our younger selves would be proud to see us, to see how far we have come and the things that we have accomplished. To see us sitting here in this audience about to walk this stage and receive a fancy piece of paper in a red case. I believe the person we were at the beginning of 2020 would be proud of who we are today and how much we have overcome. Over the last year, I have learned a very important word. It was a word I always knew, but I never realized the extent of its definition. That word is gratitude. As my terms of serving as a leader for our Do Be Nice campaign, I've become quite familiar with this word. Our duty is to appreciate those that are unappreciated. But you don't really realize the extent of how many people are unappreciated in your life until they are no longer there. The lunch ladies that always smile at us on our way to class, the janitors that whistle in the hallways after school hours, our school friends that we only talk to in math and to Snapchat for answers, the unnecessary loud underclassmen, social events and even assemblies, sunrises on our drives up to campus, and sunsets coming to a concert, and metaphorical Wednesdays. The extent of things that we took and take for granted is overwhelming. I am grateful that we had the opportunity to return to semi normalcy to listen to Mr. Clark rant about how hot Charles Mussolini was, and listening to Thomas Ewing flirt with Mr. Perkins, again, or having Mr. Wilcorn wake up to you at the random times even if you never had him as a teacher, to receiving truancy letters in the mail a month before graduation, and preparing for ID exams. However, I think now we are prepared for uncertainty and not the kind that we learn in chemistry. We are prepared for our lives to change overnight, prepared to enter the unknown as adulthood in the future. These experiences are going to shape us, whether we were by ourselves or with our closest friends and family because it allowed us to realize who we truly are, to realize things about ourselves that we had learned to neglect or not take care of. We learned to nurture ourselves and understand the emotions of other people. We have learned sincerity and empathy, and those were life lessons that as much as our teachers have tried, they could not have taught us to such an extent. Thus, class of 2021, as we go into this unknown, I want to say I am proud of every single one of you. Whether you're going into the workforce, the military, or on to post-secondary education. Because I know my 14-year-old self and not think I would make it to today. But because of everyone in front of me and behind me, I'm here. So thank you. I'm so excited to see where we go in the future. Good evening, class of 2021. What a year it's been. The Walter Alexander Foundation, Marathon County's oldest family foundation, is proud to fund and support the Kate Land Fair and Henry Brush Huntington Awards this evening. These awards have been given to a graduate of Wausau High School and now Wausau East High School since 1924 and 1926, respectively. Each year, a graduating male and female receive these awards which include a handmade medallion that is designed exclusively for the recipient. It also includes a $5,000 scholarship towards the University of Higher Education of Choice. First, the Kate Lanford Award. The Kate Lanford Award was established by Judge Rosenberry in honor of his first wife, Kate Lanford. He engaged a Chicago artist to prepare the dies for this medal, which is presented to a yearly since 1924. This award honors an outstanding female graduate selected for her character and her scholarship. This year's recipient is Eleanor Rosinski. Please come forward.
and Henry Brooks Huntington Award, this prestigious honor is bestowed yearly to a male graduate considered the most outstanding for his traits of character and scholarship as well. It was established by Miss Antoinette Brush Huntington in honor of the father, the late Henry Brush Huntington, who was first given in the year of 1926. This year's recipient is Carter Sagan. Finally, I would also like to take a special moment to welcome and thank all members 
members of our armed forces who are with us here tonight, including members of this graduating class. The following students and their parents please stand when your names are announced. Valerie Biard, daughter of Jennifer Jeffrey and Lee Biard. Robert Broad, son of Shane and Nicole Broad. Nicholas Best, son of Robert and Dana Best. Ashley Laporte, daughter of Jason Laporte. Additionally, would all individuals who have served in the armed forces, are serving in the armed forces, or will be serving in the armed forces, please stand and be recognized at this time. Shades of the way, but proud of the fact that I've been a 
associate with you and your clients. Proud of the fact that I'm standing here with you tonight to celebrate your accomplishments and perseverance. Proud of the way that I know that you want in life and represent Boston East in a fantastic fashion. While this pride certainly involves accolades and awards for what you have done, it is more rare than the pride for who you are. Thank you for being on your jobs. As I thought about words that I could use to talk about the last year and a half of school, my mom's voice would resonate again. When I was little and things were not going my way, she would often say, Kale, this too shall pass. Without saying it, my mom was developing resilience in me. She recognized the struggles I was experiencing, but she was also keenly aware that I would be able to overcome these challenges and I would be stronger for enduring. How true that message is for this class. Without question, you've been through challenges and strife. Things have been daunting and unfair. However, you have been able to overcome. You have persevered. You have met the challenges before you, and you have been able to rise above, and you are stronger now. This resiliency is a skill that you will carry with you for a lifetime. As you move forward, you will be able to manage the difficulty that life throws at you and succeed. The final message that I want to convey to you tonight is regarding the importance of gratitude and the impact that gratitude has in an individual's life. There was my mom's voice again saying, Kale, there's always, always something to be thankful for. In fact, she has a sign in the kitchen with that phrase upon it. The ability to see the positives in life is a skill and can be developed and enhanced. It also means finding good in situations, recognizing them, and building them upon them. I challenge each and every one of you to think back on your experiences here at Los East. Challenge each of you to take a moment to remember your most positive school experiences. Perhaps it was a favorite teacher, drama instructor, club advisor, or a favorite coach who provided you meaningful feedback or encouragement at just the right time. Perhaps it was a hilarious moment with friends in the comments or a cafeteria where you felt truly connected to your group. Or perhaps it was a time that you studied and studied and studied for a difficult exam and did extremely well. Whether it be through commendations, accomplishments, awards, or just kind gestures, I'm hopeful that each and every one of you can reach back to the many positive moments through your K-12 experience and cherish those moments for a lifetime. Lumberjacks, without knowing it, you have learned and lived my mom's words of advice during your past four years at Wasset East. While my mom's version is much less polished, the meaning behind her words ring true in what you have practiced here. We refer to them as the four values. Speaking from the heart means that you have the skills to be honest and forthright. You have respect for yourself and for others, and you practice integrity through all of your actions. Knowing and understanding that this too shall pass allows you to have compassion for situations and for others, and provides the resiliency that you need to overcome and persevere through individual challenges. And knowing that there is always, always something to be thankful for allows us to see the positive life and continuously build upon our strengths in order to strive for excellence. So, students, this is my advice and wish for you as you move forward through your life. One, do not be afraid to speak from your heart. Two, understand that in trials and tribulations that this too shall pass. And three, no matter where you are in life, feel that there is always, always something to be thankful for. The class of 2021, I want to extend a heartfelt congratulations to all of you on your graduation. I'm confident that you move on to do great things. Remember that as you move on through life, that you will always have a home as part of the Project Nation. Congratulations, graduates. We're all very proud of you. Dr. Rocher, it is my great honor as principal of Los East High School to present the graduating class of 2021 to you for your acceptance, Dr. Rocher. integrity, compassion, and excellence in the halls. 
I knew right away that becoming a lumberjack is something special, but I had no idea just how, I spe how special that is until you invited me in. It started slowly, a Friday morning orchestra concert in the fall, a shy hi in the hallway from behind the mask, a response of, do you really want to know when I asked Mrs. Waller how the first week of in-person classes was going? But you persevered. You found creative ways to sponsor food drives and blood drives, to present concerts and shows, to enjoy athletic seasons and a stay at homecoming, and to help Mr. Bushman out a bit with your input on including the schedule and hiring new staff. You even pulled off cafe showcasing your art, music, agriculture, language, tech ed, and culinary talents. As Mr. Perkins so proudly said, you didn't stop the beat. You helped me, your teachers, our other staff, our families, and our community, not simply to read the core values on the walls, but also to feel your respect, integrity, compassion, and excellence in the halls. You blended tradition with innovation, and you turned this most unusual year into a memorable gift for all of us. Well played, Lumberjacks. You also made me think, what do you do when someone shares a special gift with you? Well, you strive to return the favor, right? So in that spirit, I'd like to share a poem with all of you. Actually, this is more than a poem. It's a wish for everyone here, but especially for you, graduates. It's a wish your families and loved ones have been wishing for you from the time you were just a tiny peanut. It's a wish your teachers and neighbors have wished for you since you entered school. It's a wish your community wishes for you as you move into your future. It's a wish that I hope, as Dr. Peck would say, will fill your bucket. It is Sister Eda Ford's vocation blessing. I hope you come to find that which gives life a deep meaning for you, something worth living for, maybe even dying for, something that energizes you, enthuses you, and enables you to keep moving ahead. I can't tell you what it might be. That's for you to find to choose, to love, I can just encourage you to start looking and support you in this search. So there's your charge, graduates. Take everything you've learned here at East and find that which brings you joy and meaning. And once you've found your passion, pursue it with confidence, knowing that you will always be a lumberjack and we will always be here for you backing our jacks. Congratulations, Wasa East Class of 2021. We wish you all the very best. At this time, we will be presenting the diplomas to the Class of 2021. Selena Alvarez.
Iron Player Store. Lakshay Bandari. Valerie Biar. Ethan Beerke. Karina Lizzie. Grace Fuller.
Michaela Krom. Haley Krieger. Eli Krukowski. Lily Koo. Chelsea Lambert. Newton Lau. Ashley Laporte. Trinity Lavoy. Sharia Lazarov, full international baccalaureate candidate. Cha B. Lee. Lily Lee. Morgan Lee. Margaret Lenar. Elizabeth Lynn. Cooper Lindeman. Vincent Lowe. Yu Ying Lowe. Taiying Lower. Ian Masson.
Church Styles. Danielle Singpopper, Morgan Stapleton, Gavin Stepper, Henry Stifler, Ethan Stokes, Emma Sullivan. Brian Tao. Chang Tao. Lee Tao. Matthew Tao. Abigail Thompson. Miguel Toro. Tiana Walsh. Connor Welker. Dagan Wires. Alexander Williams. Anna Wolf. Marquis Riggs. Emily Yang. Jasmine Yang. Kajai Yang. Preston Yang. Z Yang. Logan Zeitz. Serena Zelinka, Alice Cernicky, Amaya Coleman, Alexis Kielman, Full International Baccalaureate, Catherine Kroberger. This is it, class of 2021. We finally did it. I know we are all so excited to finally be graduating, but before we say our last goodbyes, I would like to make a few remarks. On September 1st, 2017,
walk through the halls of Wasa East for the very first time. I think we can all agree that it was a day we will never forget. Walking through the halls singing, don't get in anyone's way. Everyone is so much taller than me. And even wow, I can't wait to be senior me graduating. And now, four years later, we stand here today as seniors for the very last time before moving our tassels from the right to the left and officially graduating high school. Before we move on to the next chapter of our lives, I'd like to, I'd like to remind us all of the strength we have created together. Together as one of the smallest classes, we have fought through hardship and despair. We have fought through Google Meets and Chromebooks. <laughs> we have fought through trying to teach ourselves mitosis and meiosis from our couches. And finally, we have fought through the struggles of high school. I think we can all admit that it would not have been possible without the help of each other. In the end, we have helped each other gain the strength to accomplish anything in life. I hope all of you live happy and healthy lives as we now close this chapter of our lives. Congratulations, class of 2021. See you at the reunion. Class of 2021.